Hey traders, Cousin Vinny coming to you on the 13th Sunday with some trades and setups for the week. As we mentioned in a blog post yesterday and video, we were looking at the fact that mining shares were number one after moving up from six weeks ago at position 73 to three weeks ago at position 26. They're the number one this past week as of Thursday. The other sectors that we'll be watching are food and meat products, semiconductor, energy, oil and gas, U.S. exploration, and so forth. In addition, stocks that are making new highs, we can see real estate, mining, and the other groups that we'll focus on. Uh, REITs are doing quite well, as we'd expect. And these are the REIT leaders that we were watching as of Thursday last week. Looking at the sectors, we also covered this on Saturday. We see a MACD cross on many of these sectors, the banks, biotech, crossing to the downside on MACD. Gold is one of the few that had a cross to the upside in the first second week of June. Continues to move higher. We're off the highs and we see the 20 and 50 moving averages crossing to the upside after a trend break and flagging. So I'd be looking at the gold sector for some setups as well as real estate. We're looking at a double top here but MACD is cruising sideways to slightly higher. All these other sectors, IYT, XHB, transportation and housing respectively. MACD is crossed down and moving lower. KRE, regional banks, SMH, semiconductors, MACD is moving sideways. We could see a few names here as we saw the top 10 that Mikey shared with us. We have steel shares in a triangle pattern as we pointed out on Saturday as well. That could break to the upside. We're watching this but note MACD. XLB, XLE, XLF, XLI, and we see XLK technology has some possibilities there as well as consumer staples which we pointed out last week on Wednesday and Thursday blog posts as well as utilities. Utilities MACD continue to move lower and we're looking for a turn back up here with prices sandwiched between the 20 and the 50 period moving average. If it breaks back above this 43 level, we could see higher prices on the components of XLU. Cyclicals, we'll look at those. There's quite a few stocks that still look good. Ford, GM, and the autos are doing well. Tata Motors, Toyota, and Tesla all look very good as well. With respect to XLP versus XLY, the ratio between the two, as long as this trend is moving lower, cyclicals should be outperforming staples. So we'll keep an eye on these two sectors. Decker's Outdoor came back and tested these pivots and this trend line down to the 50 period moving average and we saw buyers. So we'll be watching uh, Decker's Outdoor this week as well. Ford, this held up really well last week. In the face of weakness, we see the 10 period moving average continuing to hold prices as support in between the upper Bollinger Band and the 10 period, and no reason why this can't continue to move higher with stochastics moving back up. Breakout here on GM, same as Ford, continuing to be held by the 10 period moving average in the upper Bollinger Band above the Kirby here. And Bollinger Bands are widening and the lower one is turning up, which means we're probably going to see a grind higher on GM. Goodyear Tire, still could see a breakout here, so we're watching this stock. iRobot came back down to these pivots, tested it on Thursday, spinning top, long-legged doji on Friday, and looks like Stochastics is resetting here. So we could see a move higher on iRobot in between this, these Kirby bands here. Kate Spade had a descending pattern here, came down and tested on Tuesday, we saw a buyer step in and move prices back up higher. It's still got to get above this Kirby before we take a trade on this particular stock and this upper trend line at 39. 
Stochastics did reset, however, so we could see MACD turn back up. Candy, we like this stock, an auto manufacturer in China, of course, with 24% short, and we see a break of this downtrend line here and continue to move sideways. We like how the stock looks. Uh, it's above a Kirby level here, and there's no reason why we can't expect with GM and other, other major manufacturers here in the States continue to see upside action that candy can't move higher as well. Ralph Lauren, we saw a nice move higher and as you, if you follow us, you know that as we made this new high here, we got stopped out the next day out of Ralph Lauren. Russia pivots here, came back and tested the 20 period. We have the Kirby as well. We could see prices move back up on this thinly traded stock. Note that it's only 100,000 shares that it trades on average. Steve Madden, we thought we might see this hold, but it didn't. It failed uh, on Thursday, came back down into this pattern, and we're waiting to see where we find buyers again on Steve Madden. The stock looks like it's trying to change trend and continue to move higher. Tempur-Pedic held up really well last week. We had this breakout level. Prices, note the three legs down here, that uh, price action continues to see buyers push this back up to this level here where we broke out. Nice cup and handle pattern and continue to move higher. Note the 10 period moving average has continued to point to higher prices. Stochastics turn back up. Tesla looked really good, held this Kirby level here and we see the 50 period rounding and starting to turn back up. 200 period is still cruising higher and we could see a move back up to this level, uh, this Kirby level here. Under Armour held really well. We saw two legs down here. We drew a trend line across these closing lows that we saw and price action continues to firm nicely above this Kirby level. Nice cup and handle pattern. Looks like buyers want to push this higher on this continuation pattern. Once we get above this trend line here, we would look for a long going into the end of the summer. Let's take, uh, let's run a scan and see what looks good. Let's run a Bollinger Band scan and look what we have here. ALK continues to look good. Remember that broke out last week or bounced on a continuation. Let's take a look at 10 per page. Alaska. From these pivots here down through here, we did see a move higher, and Bollinger Bands is starting to expand again on Alaska Air. Uh, let's take a look at Delta since Delta Airlines, a move outside the lower Bollinger Band and moving back to the upside, but we see a descending 10 period moving average. Not so good there on Delta. Let's take a look at Southwest. Looking a little bit better. Moving higher. Let's look at JetBlue. Looking better. Allegiant. Looks good as well. I believe Mikey uses this airline. America Airlines had this nice move. Uh, new issue. 24.63 up to these highs. Based out. We see this break of this trend line. Came down and tested that low. Saw buyers step back in and now prices are starting to meander back higher. Note the volume here. 60, 70 million shares traded last week. It's looking pretty good on America Airlines. I think Trader Stewie trades this name. Remember, we're watching for this top 10, the notable ones, auto manufacturers, uh, computer hardware peripherals, Triple D is in that group, electrical, semiconductor manufacturers, energy, oil, and gas. Okay, so we're looking at these top 10 groups here. American Campus, remember this is a REIT, and we're breaking this pivot here and moving higher. Remember with REITs, long as the 10-year uh, yield is moving lower or seeing weakness, uh, these sh REITs sh should continue to move higher. BE Aerospace and the defense sector. Note that we're breaking above some pivots here. we got this Kirby to deal with. 50 period moving average continues to move higher though. Office properties, corporate office properties, trust, another REIT, looking good. Stochastics leading MACD, CVS Caremark, 
This one's moving right along the 50 period moving average. This should continue to move higher this week with MACD. Looks like it wants to cross. Dow Chemical. I saw a lot of chemical names. Looked like they were doing well. A bounce on the 50 period moving average on Tuesday as well as Thursday. And then a move higher on Friday above this Kirby level. DuPont Fabros testing highs. A break above this 2720. We should see higher prices on this. Facebook. I noted this one was firming up again off of the 50 period moving average last week after it moved lower the previous week. That one's looking pretty good. Reset again. Stochastics has turned back up. Globus Medical held these lows here going back to February. Uh, lower Bollinger Band. We should see the upper Bollinger Band at a minimum, I would believe, with 200 period moving average continuing to move higher. Stochastics reset and moving higher as well as RSI. PLT, we saw that that bounced really nicely off the lower Bollinger Band on Friday last week, week before last, and then a continuation move to the upper Bollinger Band. REITs, again, JetBlue we talked about, Kate Spade we talked about, Mace Rich, this is another outlet and mall owner out west that is looking pretty good. The 50 period moving average is holding prices as well as the 20 period and just continuing to move higher along with Vornado, uh, General Growth Properties, and CB Richard Ellis, as well as uh, Simon Property Group. Piedmont Office Realty Trust, tight Bollinger Bands, 50 period moving average. This should break higher this week. Note the, the pivots here and the break above that trend line on volume, Stochastics leading MACD cross. This one looks pretty good for this week. One of the more high probability setups. Rex Nord, Mikey had pointed this one out when he sent this IBD screen capture of Rex Nord. They manufacture gears, couplings, bearings, etc. And you can see their composite rating is decent and some of the leaders in the group that you might also want to check out so this one continues to show up on the Bollinger Band scan as it dropped down into the Keltner channel. Many of these stocks will show up on the scan, the Keltner channel being the red lines here. Remember the Keltner channel is based on the average true range of the stock plus the moving average. So with moving averages and the Keltner channel is moving higher, that usually indicates that prices are going to continue to move higher here as well. Whereas when it's moving lower, you're going to anticipate lower prices until that changes trend. Simon Property, nice breakout here of this trend line and prices back above the Kirby and moving higher on this name. Note all the volume here and a MACD cross. Simon should take off this week. I would be surprised if it doesn't get an upgrade pre-market before you, anyone has a chance to get in this name. Southwest Airlines we talked about looking good. Bollinger Bands are tightening prices came down and tested the 50 period moving average on Tuesday had a nice hammer as buyers stepped back in and pushed things pushed prices back up above the 20 period moving average and consolidating along this Kirby bar now but note the length the percentage of green versus red in this bar so I would think that this is going to move higher considering volume the last three days of the week and stochastics recycling moving higher Spectronetics, don't know the name, but it had a nice break higher here and trying to make it back above this Kirby level. It gets above this level at 2536. This thing could really start cruising higher very quickly. Note RSI, the volume, as well as stochastics and MACD pointing higher. Scooter score 68.6 and rising fast. Looking good. Spirit Realty, this is the name that shows up on the REITs quite a lot. Looking good. Price is holding the 20 period and stochastics reset moving higher. Vanguard REIT Vipers. This continues to show up on the Bollinger Band scam whenever the REITs show up in mass, which we keep continuing to see uh, this past week. Note the volume. Looking good. BCA Antec Wolf. I pointed this one out last, um, last Monday, I believe, on the weekend scan that we had this nice cup and handle pattern and a triangle here and starting to move higher. I'd expect prices to move soon 
as Bollinger Bands are pretty tight, expect an increase in volatility as the Bollinger Bands expand quickly. And I would think prices get back above the Kirby here, with Stochastics leading and MACD starting to turn. Vector Group testing this level here. A break above 2150, and this one should go. Stochastics reset, and MACD's turning back up, and we got some sneaky volume here showing up the last three days of the week. Verizon, nice breakout. I would also look at AT&T and some of the other names. Bollinger Bands expanded quickly with top and bottom expanding. I would expect this one to continue to move higher tomorrow. tomorrow. I wouldn't chase this, but a move back into yesterday's uh, Friday's candle would be a nice entry if it doesn't exceed 50% into the candle, and we start to see buyers intraday on your 5 and 15 minute charts. Note the MACD cross. Vulcan Materials, nice trend line break here, and starting to move higher. 200 period moving average moving higher. Prices above the Kirby. Trying to get back above the Kirby anyway. We tested it two or three times. It looks like we might make it this time with Stochastics leading MACD. Xerox, we pointed this one out last week on this channel. We broke it on Friday. Nice trade if he took this one. I would say that this is probably going to break above 12.95 given the Stochastics up, uh, setup and MACD turning as well as volume on Friday. We saw a 9.4 million, 9 million shares trade. Excel Group PLC, expanding Bollinger Bands and we see prices moving higher. Not too far off of this breakout level, so if this moves back into the uh, Friday candle, I would take this trade if it doesn't exceed the 50% retracement Fibonacci into this candle. And we start to see buyers intraday. MACD cross. Remember, we saw a lot of technology names, chips and semiconductors, applied materials looking good, Apple looking good, ARMM, ARMMH not looking so hot. Note, if you're thinking short, if we lose this low here, we could see lower prices. Broadcom, nice triangle pattern here after a crazy move higher. A $9 move here, looking really good. Note Stochastics is drifting lower, so we want to see a better setup on Broadcom. Cisco, we continue to hold on to this one after being stopped out early in the week. IBM continues to look at one of the better technology stocks. We had this trend line break. We had flagged out, hit the 50% level at 188.67. Got a little bit above that, trailed off, and now we're sitting right on the, one, the 382 Fibonacci and the Kirby level. And I would expect to see move a move higher this week on Big Blue. Magnet chip semiconductor. Break a trend moved higher, flagged out, and it's testing the 20 period moving average with stochastics reset. We should see a bounce here on RSI as well as prices. Bollinger Bands are narrowing, so we probably have a few days before this sets up completely. Microsoft, this one looked really good. Pull back to breakout. We held and looking very good here on Mr. Softy. New CEO, new leadership, new vision for the company, no reason why this can't continue to move higher as they reinvent themselves. This is the wireless company I was thinking of. Ruckus Wireless had a nice break higher along with Verizon on Friday. Note the Kirby here, note the Kirby ceiling. That's your first target somewhere between 1375 and 14. We'll see resistance, so you could see possibly a dollar, two dollar move tomorrow or this week. Note the volume and RSI moving higher. With stochastics reset moving higher, MACD should continue. So we should see a couple of days, three or four days of uh, trading to the upside on RKUS. Stratasys, we had a trend break, move higher. Now we're more or less in a box trade setup. If you follow the post that I put out on Friday, or on Saturday rather, box trade and when you have a crossover to the upside you trade the first green candle after the stock moves back down into the zone created by the 10 period EMA and the 30 period. When the 10 is above the 30 we take longs only. So now we're resetting on stochastics and we're waiting for MACD to turn as well as a nice green candle to the upside. This should look good on Stratasys. 
looking at healthcare as a sector, we see, still see strength here. Abbott Labs moving off the 20 period moving average. Stochastics reset moving higher. Aetna, all of these healthcare names, healthcare provider names looking good. Aetna, Stochastics resetting, moving sideways, base and break pattern. Baxter International continues to cruise higher with these Bollinger Bands continuing to expand. There's no Kirby up here, so this continue, should continue to move higher along the upper Bollinger Band. Cigna, another healthcare name provider. Health plans moving higher. Looking good. Let's take a look at Wellpoint. Waters, Wellpoint looks good. I believe PVB Trader is looking at this one. We have a breakout of this trend and moving higher on Wellpoint. United Health Group, nice push along with Wellpoint and Aetna off of the 20 period moving averages. Looking good. RSI turning back up and Stochastics showing higher prices as well. Okay, that's going to do it for me. This is Cousin Benny coming to you from theclosingprint.com. Be sure and come check us out. New traders, there's a lot of videos here and information for you to help you become a better trader. I hope this watch list and setups for the week look good and they help you a little bit. I hope this helps and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.